Yes. It, it was my... I'm here with Ibrahim and <laughs> this wonderful gentleman here, we met, brief, we met and became good friends and he's sharing his story, um, his experiences. He actually fought with Nelson Mandela against apartheid in South Africa and he has so and much even here. and in even here Toronto, yeah. in Toronto and we're in Toronto right now we're in Canada right now and he has so much amazing stories and you'll all get to hear his stories you know from his point of view from his relationship from him having the passion to try and make a difference just like Mandela and knowing Mandela personally, and um, we did a, we, we stayed for a long time, we talked about it, and he told us so many stories and things you would not believe, you know, things you cannot read about. So if you wanna see that, um, go to Kiss of Paradise on our YouTube channel, and you also get to see it on Caribbean Connections television. And please like, subscribe, and share, because this is very important. And we don't wanna repeat history, so it's good to know what happened in the past so we don't repeat it in the future and um, I want to thank you so much for your dedication your bravery and your commitment to try and make a difference for the lives of yourself and for others and for future generations to come thank you thank mm -hmm. you for well I am very pleased that we met <laughs> under those circumstances on that rainy night Met on a rainy night in a parking lot. <laughs> parking lot. And, Do you uh, want to tell people how we met just with this camera? Like, what? How did we meet? Yes, we. Are. I like when you tell the story. <laughs> well, I'd I'd bought something at the Shoppers Drug Mart here yes. on Lawrence Avenue, and I was I was in my car, and I happened to look uh, at uh, because I was going to move out, and I was I happened to look uh, at uh, my glance went towards the car next door. And I saw this lovely young lady and, and she was smiling. <laughs> and I said, oh my goodness, who's this young lady smiling at an old man like me? Let me say hello to her. Anyway, no, I, we met and, yes. and, and we spoke and I told her about uh, Yeah, we just, we just connected. Myself. Yes, we, we started to yeah. talk. I came out of the car and we were, talk, we were talking in the rain. That's right. <laughs> and then I found out that he's, he's not just a wonderful person, but he has a, an amazing story that needs to be told yes and it was a it was a it was a miserably cold night yes i know <laughs> but uh it became warm after i met uh, <laughs> paradise. <laughs> I met paradise yes <laughs> it was uh, it was very nice uh, and now we're going to be friends for life. yes for hopefully yes for Watch everything the light yeah. the we light. shall be <laughs> for life yeah and awesome. uh, as i said that uh, uh uh, we, we used to say aluta continua, the struggle continues. Yes. So wherever this, there is oppression and injustice and so on, people must take up a stand. Yeah. And justice must be delivered by the authorities or whoever it is that yes. is in charge. We must not submit to injustice at all. Yes. And remember, you know, life is about love. No. It's about caring. You can't That's just right. live in, for yourself. If you say you love God and you have love, or you love creation and you love people, you have to stand up for their rights. Whether it's to make a call, just say something, share something on internet, um, you know, on Facebook. Let people know, like, know that you're supporting this. You do not support this. Like, mm -hmm. you have to stand up for people's rights who cannot That's speak right. for themselves. That is very true. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> Thank you. And good luck and God bless you. God bless you. Let's take one picture now. This was it. He was thrown from the 12th floor of the of, of the police headquarters in, in Johannesburg. Wow. They died and they said he jumped again. Mm -hmm. And there were so many others. There was, a, there was an Imam, Harun, a fantastic human being who s stood up for the people of, of South Africa. And they said he was arrested and they said he slipped on a bar of soap and, and he hurt his head. They didn't allow 
and soap, he was in a soap. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, the, 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 the magistrates who did the inquest accepted it because it was their magistrates. Yeah. Right. right. Know, so there were so many others, men, that, uh, that they killed in, in detention, you know, they were killed in detention at that time. Unbelievable. So this, yeah, this is Ahmad. You know the one I spoke to you yes, about? Yes, yes. He was the representative of the African National Congress in, in India for many years and he was a secretary of the of the uh, Afro-Asian Solidarity mm -hmm. Committee. What's his name? His full name? Uh, uh, Musa Mozi Mullah. Oh. Yeah, that the, the fellow who was the first chap to be in uh, solitary. 90 solitary confinement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he went there and he was the uh, representative. But after freedom, Nelson Mandela made him the ambassador to Iran. Mm -hmm. So he was, there for, he was there for four years. And thereafter, he was uh, the ambassador, uh, the high commissioner or ambassador in Pakistan. And but his wife passed away, so he came back to South Africa, and he's at, in South Africa at the moment now, wow. and, uh, in retirement. Yeah. Uh, just a second. I just